Hi everyone, I'm Simon. I'm a UCOS student from Queen's University. I've been working on ReviewBot for the past few months. Uh, during my semester with ReviewBot, I worked on several smaller projects instead of one large project. So that meant in my previous videos, I was working on the Highlight Active Discussions project. I recommend you take a look at those videos if you'd like to see what those entailed. Um, so that means in this video, I'm talking about the Smarter Repository slash group selector widgets for the admin UI project. Um, that So previously, a new implementation of selectors was created for choosing specifically for specifically choosing users. So that was this widget here that was created. And th th this is it working. Uh, this project involves converting order selectors for example, this one for selecting default groups into these newer implementations of selectors. Just because these problem, these widgets can have, can cause a performance problems when it's being loaded when when there are a lot of users, for example. Also, this project involves generalizing the widget for any kind of object and putting that implementation into giblets, and then using the newer selector or converting these older selectors into the newer one, like I did here. And for, actually, for this repository widget here, it's actually showing for users right now. And the reason for that is because if you look at the back here, each admin UI page is actually defined by, or what's on the admin UI page is defined by what's here. So under, for, so groups would correspond to this widget here. People would correspond to whatever's here, and repository would correspond to whatever's here. What people people would be uh what defines people is defined here, and so that the widget would be the related user widget class and the widget for the repository would be re related repository widget class. What I did for both of these widgets is just inherit um, a parent class called related object widget, which is this code here, which is mostly uh, the code for selecting users right now. So that's why they're doing this essentially the same thing. Um, what I learned is that there's more to it than this because if I look down here, there's actually templates and that would involve uh, uh, most of what is how this works is involves JavaScript or backbone uh, to be precise and that's defined in these files here and and that's uh, about it for me. Uh, my Next steps would involve uh, generalizing these files and templates for for giblets and making sure they will work for any kind of object. Um, so I'll be continuing to work on this, uh, and that's about it for me. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening.